What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care today. We're going to show you the new, well, six month old uh, Milwaukee M18 dual battery blower. Tell you a little bit about it compared to the single battery blower that was previously uh, out. And so it's been raining uh, quite a bit. So I've been trying to think of a way to show you the power difference of these. I think I've got something in my head of, you know, using the ball like, you know, some people do and showing you uh, just how high it will go compared to both. Uh, we'll be using the same batteries. I've already got run time on the dual battery blower and it's kind of awkward uh, to say the least. So let's jump into this, show you what this does, uh, show you it compared to you know, next to the, the single battery and uh, go over some specs and then, you know, go into that test. I'll tell you the battery times of the dual battery blower that I got with two 8.0 batteries. And I did this test multiple times. And when I say multiple, I did it like six times. Uh, and it, it's so weird to me that the results varied uh, the way they did anyway. So let's jump into this once again and show you all about these blowers. All right, so the first blower we have is the single battery blower here. Now my son, he has been dying to be in a video. So he is gonna be my little helper today. And uh, so this is the single battery blower. And I measured the nozzle end here and got three, right at three inches. And on the new one now, it's, you're only about a quarter of an inch difference. But um, weight wise, this is around 4.9 pounds something like that, but uh, 120 miles per hour, 450 CFM is what this one was. You had the two speed dials, the rabbit and the, you know, uh, the turtle for full throttle or the, or the, sorry, the turtle for like half throttle, I guess, and then the, the uh, rabbit for full throttle. And so it was a great blower. Uh, a lot of people that, you know, bought this blower really liked it, but then, they come out with this beast right here. And so we're gonna hand this back and we're gonna get the dual battery blower. Now you're looking at right at six pounds uh, with no battery on this. When you put two 8.0 batteries on this, you get a uh, 10.8, something like that uh, is what I got out of it. But this thing is just, all around beefy now this is a second handle so i mean it's it's you know you got so much power my wife was telling me the other day that um she loved using the single she tried using the dual and she's like i had to she's like it'll fly away from you um so i just laughed but anyway the new tube style three and a quarter i mean literally only a quarter of an inch longer but you uh, also get two attachments with this blower that come with it as well and so you get these two attachments right here i don't know if you can see this or not i'll, I'll just put this uh picture up on the screen and overlay this um one for a more narrow flow airflow one for a a wider uh narrower airflow you know for leaves whatever you would like to use it for but two different applications now these tubes are you cannot transfer them uh, one will not fit on the other. The, um, the <clears throat> blower uh, for this right here, actually, the dual battery blower uh, has the notches for the new, you know, the new attachments and whatnot. So we'll throw some batteries in these. We'll show you uh, the battery bar on this is right here. It lights up very, very well. And when I say very well, well, we'll actually just put some batteries in it here and show you. <clears throat> there you go. I mean, it lights up real nice for, yeah. So then we'll pull these batteries back out because I want to show you this cruise they call it the speed throttle speed control so uh you know like most got two three if you go all the way up you got four is it five one two yeah five if you pull this down to uh the fourth one 
<clears throat> you will gain, it's amazing how much battery life you will gain just from moving it down one bar. And when I say, I mean, it, you quadruple your battery life. It's, it, I, you actually do more than that. Uh, but just to give you a, a hint of what it'll do with just taking it one speed down. So, all right, let's, uh, let's show you these. So this, this is the 600 uh, CFM compared to the first or the second gen here. Um, I think that's the second gen. <clears throat> 600, 600 CFM compared to 450, but it's got 145 mile per hour compared to the 120 mile per hour. And let me tell you, you really, you really sit there and you go, well, that's not a lot. But when you hold both of these blowers in your hand, and you pull the trigger and you start clearing debris, you can really, really tell how much power, extra power that is, because it may not sound like a lot, but in reality, it's a ton. Uh, Newton-wise, blowing force uh, is how they measure Newtons. The, this one, the, the single battery, was a little over 11 Newtons. This one is, I think they said 17.7, .7, but uh, like, there's companies out there like Tool Pro Tool Reviews that did uh, you know their own little test and they got over consecutively they got eight right at 18 newtons uh, but they they did get over 18 newtons out of this thing. Now I don't know how they you know do their test compared to the way others uh, actually do it to measure it, but uh, they're they're smart guys over there. You know he's he's very bright and knows what he's doing. So I would take that into consideration as well that, you know, it's probably pretty, pretty close to being legit there. So let's uh, throw some batteries in these, tell you some times that I got out of this one. I didn't measure the first one cause I think I did a review on it um, a, a long time ago, but uh, I did do the battery times on this. The, all these times are full wide open throttle with no attachment on it. And uh, I've got a heated cooled garage my garage was set to 74 degrees uh, at the time. And so that's, that's the environment that it was in. So, uh, all right, batteries, and then we'll, we'll tell you some run times of this. All right, so for this test, we're going to just take a volleyball that's aired up. My kids love playing volleyball, but I've got uh, three full, literally fully charged batteries. I don't know if y'all wanna see it or not, but <clears throat> we're gonna take the small blower, put an 8.0 all these are 8.0s we're gonna put the battery in there we're gonna set the volleyball on top see how high we can get the volleyball to go uh this pretty much show you the you know possibly the difference because it's i guess it's kind of hard to blow a volleyball all right hand me the blower let's get a battery in there <clears throat> and then we've got it set to high all right, so I'm gonna set this down. I want you to put the volleyball on top of it. Can we see this? Yep. All right, and here we go. Ready, three, two, one. We're gonna start off slow and then uh, give it some full throttle here. So here we go. All right. So it does blow it up probably an inch. If you could see that. And then uh, we're going to put two batteries in the, uh, whoo, in the dual and do the same thing with it, see what it will do. All right, now we're going to put the ball on it and let's see what it will do here. Here we go. So that's about what we was getting out of the other one. But the problem with that is this thing is so much more powerful. <laughs> Now, this thing can be pretty heavy with uh, two 8.0s, but it's nice and balanced. This thing is very well balanced. Once again, you got two handles here. All right, so let's talk run times with this thing. 
This is the run times I got. It's, it's literally crazy. Okay, so I did this test seven times. Seven times. Uh, look at this kid sleeping. Um, seven times, and out of the seven times I did it, uh, these went ranged from older batteries that I'd had that are four years old uh, to new, brand new out of the box, straight to the charger, and then running the test. And it's, it's like I said, it's crazy. So the first test I got, it. first test I got 13 minutes and 52 seconds. Now Milwaukee claims 17 minutes on two 8.0 batteries. Uh, now, once again, with four, uh, or I'm sorry, with four year old batteries, 8.0 batteries, I got 13 minutes, 52 seconds. Uh, and I was like, huh, this can't be right. So anyway, I've got several uh, 8.0 batteries. So I ran the test. Uh, I, well, I actually recharged them batteries, ran it again, 1239. Then I switched out to different batteries, two totally different batteries. I got 16 minutes, 17 seconds. Then we ran it again with the batteries that had charged from the previous run, the originals, and I got 1352. So if you have older batteries, you're not gonna get the run time of 17 minutes. Uh, I'm pretty positive that their 17 minute run time is based on brand new batteries because I couldn't even come close to it with used batteries. Then I go and I take them second set, recharge 1621. Now this is where it gets crazy is I did the brand new batteries out of the packaging, charge them up, put them in here, and uh, well, we'll show you that run time in a second, but then I, I did the test again, 16 minutes, 16 seconds. So you're right around there. Now these batteries were like two years old. So they were, you know, half of the four. So I got three extra minutes out of two year old batteries. coming now, you know, once again, uh, just cause they're two year old, it really is based off of how much you've used these and what, what the sales charge up to be, things of that. There's so much to take into consideration. Brand new batteries, uh, brand new batteries, 17 minutes, 25 seconds with brand new out of the box batteries. This is the best run time I got was 1725. Uh, and that's in a heated and cooled garage that stayed. Uh, it was either 72 or 74 degrees. I usually don't, you know, make it any hotter than that in here by any means. But uh, that's once again, like I said, in a heated and cooled garage environment, 1725 brand new batteries. Uh, but then, you know, you go to the, the other batteries that's close to being new, 1616, 1621, but the older batteries that I had used way more than any of the other ones, 1352, 1239, 1352 again, but you know, 0.73 uh, and 0.3. I mean, so it pretty consecutive on what it was, but uh, it, it just kind of amazed me how much extra runtime I got out of brand new unused batteries compared to barely used batteries, compared to batteries I had used. Uh, I figured that it would be a little bit of difference, but I didn't think that it would be that much. Now, like I said, once you start uh, going to the, the three or the four setting on this, um, you know, right at your ear, you're a little over 80 decibels uh, holding it down by your side. Uh, and you know, a DB meter at your ear, you're, you're getting a little over 80 decibels with this, but it's still under 85, uh, the OSHA, you know, rating. So, uh, yeah, move, move the speed control down one and watch the times significantly just fly through the roof. It's, it's crazy. You know, like I said, you, you literally quadruple, uh, your, your run time, it's amazing. Now, you know, if you don't need all that power, you're doing light clearing, well, uh, that's what I would recommend, do that. Don't do the full throttle. Full throttle, this thing will eat through it, and uh, it, it's got the power, but it'll eat through the batteries. So uh, two 12 amp hour batteries, you're gonna get like uh, 23 minutes out of two 12 amp hour batteries. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, so let's let's go over some specs, see what I missed here, maybe uh, what I didn't miss. If I missed something that you wanted to know, comment down below. I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. 
Uh, all right, so um, two M18 batteries are required to run this. Now you can put these in different, you know, things. You could have uh, a 6.0 and an 8.0, or an 8.0 and a, you know, a 12.0. That would be awkward in a way, but uh, you could do that if you absolutely needed to. But two M18 batteries are required to run this blower. They recommend the high output batteries. But if you, let's say you have a 6.0 and an 8.0, you're only going to get the run time as if you had two 6.0 batteries in this. If you do an 8 and a 12, you're only going to get the run time as if you have two 8 point battery, 8.0 batteries in this. So keep that in mind whenever you, uh, you know, if you do need to configure it some way like that. Uh, once again, a little over 10 pounds with two 8.0 batteries, six, six pounds with no batteries on it whatsoever. Um, like I said, uh, if you're holding it down by your side full throttle, you're looking at a little over 80 decibels, but it's still not uh, 85 decibels. It's, it's lower than 85, you know, the OSHA recommendation. So if you have any questions, let me know. Comment down below. That's the, really the only way I could figure out to do this test to show you the difference between you know, the power uh, blowing force of, of these blowers because like I said, it's been raining for, for three days. It's raining all day today. We got rain coming in tomorrow as well. So it's just crazy. Now I do have some, uh, <clears throat> some upcoming videos about, now I'm, I'm, I'm way behind on the times. Don't hate me. Uh, you know, I really like using stuff before I start giving reviews on it. I got the M12 fan I personally bought. Uh, I personally went and bought the uh, M18 packout vacuum because my uh, second gen gave out. So decided to do the upgrade. And uh, I will tell you, it's not how I planned um, it was going to go by any means. So uh, let me know if y'all are interested in in any of these videos, what you are, are interested in, uh, seeing if anything, I've got something else. I, f I forget, I've got so many videos I need to do and get caught up on. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, I'm not no rocket scientist by any means uh, that you know goes through the the, the whole science of these things. I'm more uh, real world type of person, uh, you know, what you see is what you get. Um, you know, if, if you can pick up a blower and you can pick up another blower and they look the same side by side, well, that's what most people base their comparisons uh, off of whenever they go somewhere. They're like, well, why should I spend the extra money on this when it's not as, you know. But uh, hopefully this showed you how much more powerful this dual battery blower is. Uh, I mean, like I said, you may not sound, or the, the numbers may not sound like a big difference, but hopefully that showed you how big of a difference it was. It just literally baffles me. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Danny. See you in the next one. Let's go. I'm a strive for the great. Yep. Knock with the base. Yep. I got the echo locked in your face. Ooh. If you want to battle, this is not that place. Nope. You can meet me at the table and come get a taste. We talk to YouTube live yep. where I thrive. Yep. See me on the tour, watch the grass fly by. Some, Some think that I'm cocky. DeWalt to Milwaukee. It really don't matter because y'all can get off me. If you like the video, sub, then hit a play. We got 10K quick.